How do you capture things that we know exist, but we can't see with the naked eye? Every time you open your phone using facial ID recognition to unlock it, thousands of beams of light are coming out of the phone and mapping your face. We know that it's there, and we see it now with this camera. We see it with the infrared light. I worked on other projects using different types of technology, including an optical gas imaging camera to show methane being emitted from oil fields, even from burping cows. Another AP colleague, Felipe Dana, used infrared photography to capture Ukrainian soldiers at night that you wouldn't otherwise be able to see. This was a natural evolution from our previous work. So how did we do it? We converted our regular digital camera so that it could see a full spectrum of visible light, infrared light, and ultraviolet light. We did this by removing the built-in filter and replaced it with clear glass. You know, there was a lot of trial and error, especially when it came to doing the portraits. If we shot it in the daylight, you wouldn't really be able to see the infrared beam, so it had to be low light. Then it wasn't always easy to get the phone to, you know, cast those thousands of beams of light. Sometimes it was, you know, it might come on for a fraction of a second. It was like capturing a bolt of lightning. I mean, I guess as a photographer, there's this instant gratification or, or the expectation you see everything, you know, you know what your, you know what the light looks like, you know what your subjects look like, you, you're composing, you know, everything is visible. It's very straightforward. When you compare it to trying to capture something that is invisible, a ghost, if you will, you think that it works, but you don't really know until you see it for the first time. And when you see it, it's amazing because um, it's quite spooky, as if you are seeing a ghost. You know, you know that this technology exists. You know that when you hold your cell phone up to your face, that thousands of beams of light are coming out and they're mapping your face. But we don't see any of that. And to be able to see that, and it become this now this tangible thing, it's pretty amazing. This project has left me with a greater curiosity of what else is out there that we don't see? And is there a way that we can capture that?